Hi everyone and welcome to the third day of the watercolour advent calendar. I've loved painting with you so far, let's see what's behind the door today. Ooh, have you seen one of these before? This is a Ukrainian Christmas cobweb decoration. I'll tell you all about it, but grab your paints and let's get started. So this is one of our first sort of new to me uh, Christmas decorations or traditions. So I'm going to do a little branch and a little loop over that branch and then we can do our decorations. So this is a Ukrainian tradition. I'm going to do a vertical line there with a little gap in the middle and then I'm going to do a little hole and I'm going to draw my spider's web. So uh, I'm, I mean, you could you could choose to have as many spokes on your spider's web as you like. I'm going to go sort of side to side and then one in the diagonal. And then we can uh, do some little lines in between. So it's considered good luck um, to find a cobweb and a spider on your Christmas tree in Ukraine. Now I know some of you will not want to feature any spider on your advent calendar. So I will leave it up to you whether you want to include one. We'll just stick with the very pretty decorative web decoration for this. So there we go, a little bit of a rub out and I'm going to do that nice glow again because we want to make this look nice and special. So clean brush first, water over the over the area and then a little bit of lemon yellow just sort of dotting around the edge. Maybe this advent cal calendar will be defined by the glow of it all. And maybe just a few little a few little dabs around the edge. I think that's quite fun. Right, we'll let that dry. And I'm going to do a little tree branch. So I need a bit of a bit of tree. We're going to get very used to some of these mixes, so there might come a point where I don't need to sort of mix it on camera every time. I'll be like, remember that? Remember that tree branch colour? And you'll be like, yes, we remember it perfectly. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that'll be what we do. So that's nice. And also, because we're quite close up to this tree branch, I'm actually going to begin it with a little bit of yellow ochre. That's a lot of yellow ochre. Just the size zero brush like that. And then this is going to be sort of damp and I'm going to paint in my little needles whilst it's still damp and look we get that cool little bleed and blend onto the branch. Now on the underside I'm aware that the page is a little bit damp, so let's see. Okay, it's dried quite fast, that's cool. Okay, and now what colour are we going to use for our cobweb? Well, you could use, you could make it silver cobweb a gold cobweb. I'm going to go for gold and so therefore just using flat colours, of course if you want to add metallics to this I think that would look absolutely amazing. I'm keeping things simple just by sticking with my simple little palette so we're all we all on the same page and on the same paint. Um, so I've got yellow ochre there and then here's a little bit burnt sienna um, shadow mix in with the French ultramarine blue, which is going to be my just my little low light. Because I like to make these things look really cool, even if they are very simple. And we can now paint in 
Well, cobweb, I mean, I'll, I'll do the center and we'll see if it's dry. Mm, I'd say we're, we're pretty much there. Obviously, we're all painting in different climates. We might be taking different amounts of paint on our brush and water, so you might need to wait a little bit longer than me. But I'm just going to fill in my star first and then I can join it all up with the cobwebs. I would love to know if you have one of these cobweb decorations on your tree. Like I say, what I love the most about the advent calendar is hearing your stories of your own Christmas traditions and any connections you may have to the things we're painting. Last year, I remember we caused quite a stir um, with one or two of them because uh, there was there was a bit of a question mark over the origins of some things. The Christmas pickle was one in particular which made me chuckle. Um, I'd come to it thinking it was a German tradition and then a lot of German painters said, oh, I don't think I've ever heard of that. And then it sort of felt like it maybe it was a more American thing or an American German thing. I don't know. Anyway, some people know it, some people don't. And that's the beauty of the advent calendars. We're all learning about ourselves and each other and we're the richer for it. Okay, that is all painted in, looking really lovely. And I'm going to let that dry a little bit and then put in a few low lights. So with my little brush, I'm going to use the shadow to just sort of add a little bit more of a third dimension. And also the uh, the loop over the top. You could add a little bit of sort of texture if you wanted a few little dots and things it's totally up to you i can't wait to see what you come up with with your interpretations of some of these i'd love it if throughout the advent calendar you shared your work with me and the world on instagram just by tagging me at the winton paper co um, and you can just do that post your photos and i will try to share as many of them as possible because this advent calendar is nothing without you and I love to hear your comments I love to see your paintings I love painting with you so please 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 give me my early Christmas present and uh, let me know your paintings okay let me know your paintings let me see your paintings okay I think that's really nice I might just add a tiny bit of an extra accent onto some of these pine needles. That's going to be the theme here. I always find just one last thing that I could add. <laughs> okay, that is it for today. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you're having a wonderful run up to Christmas, starting to feel festive. And of course, I will see you tomorrow.